Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In today's video we're going to be starting the actual process of trying to create, I guess, an autonomous rocket. We're going to use programming, we're going to use Python and we're going to use the uh, module or mod for um, KSP known as KRPC. Don't ask me what it stands for, it stands for something really cool. Anyway, let's find out what happens in this video and this is going to be, I guess, an official part one. Welcome to What The Math. And so what exactly is our goal in this series? Well, we're going to start small. We're going to create our own mech jab, our own automatic takeoff system that will put us into orbit pretty much more or less accurately, just as you would with a module that you would download. Um, separately so in other words we're going to kind of make things automatic but we're going to do it completely manually so we're going to write our own code we're also going to then create a system that will land the rocket back on Kerbin, and uh, this will be kind of similar to how spacex does it except ours is going to be very rough uh very inaccurate just basically need, needs to land the rocket straight down and lastly we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to actually uh, launch the rocket to the moon and then land on the moon. So those are our major goals for this um, for the series. I actually have already written the code right here and it's going to be available on the GitHub in the uh, description below. It took me a few days to write this and it was actually super fun, which is actually why I wanted to go through this with you and also teach you how most of this stuff will be done. Um, we're going to kind of continue from the previous episode where I just showed you the basics, the absolute basics. And in this episode, what we're going to focus on are the telemetry. In other words, what commands do we actually use to read what our spaceship is observing, receiving in terms of information, and basically what we'll, we'll be using to launch a rocket. In other words, this is going to be like the theory, the more or less boring kind of episode, but bear with me, we need to know this stuff. So let's start with the, our beautiful rocket that we're going to create in a few seconds. Uh, it's going to launch from KSC and go not straight up, but in a parabolic-like trajectory to achieve a, a orbit of about 100 ki uh, kilometers above Kerbin. This is going to be our launching spot both for the moon transfer and for landing back on Kerbin. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to show you some of the things we're going to be using and I'm also going to show you some of the commands. Uh, most importantly, I want to guide you to this, which is the uh, KRPC help module thingy. We're going to be using Python, but if you know other languages or if you want to learn other languages, you can also use other languages as well, which is why KRPC is an awesome tool to learn this because you basically do the same thing, but in other languages. Um, so anyway, uh, we're, we're going to be using a lot of the space center stuff here. And there's actually a lot of commands for the vessel that we're going to be using, which are all here. Uh, but essentially, how do we measure stuff? In other words, let's say I'm going to be using the rocket I've pre-made previously. Uh, this beautiful two-stage rocket that we're going to be launching to the moon. Um, how do we actually measure things like, for example, velocity and altitude? We're definitely going to be needing those values and those um, variables for what we're trying to achieve. Because like, if you actually want to launch a rocket that doesn't just go straight, but starts turning slowly and starts doing the gravity turn, and then eventually stops the engines, uh, circularize the orbit, you actually have to be able to detect the altitude and the speed of the rocket, uh, specifically the altitude. Altitude is really, really important. So let me show you how to easily measure altitude in um, KRPC. So I just started the server here. And what we're going to do is use just this one command to basically list uh, the speed and another command to list the actual altitude or height of the vehicle. So all of these scripts here will always start the same. We're always gonna have this. We're going to have the connect um, thing. We're going to have vessel defined as active vessel. So all of this will mostly never change. For this particular example though, I decided to define two more things. One of them is the orbital frame and one of them is the surface frame. These are actually from the examples on KRPC. Uh, and here, the only difference is that one of them is going to be listing the surface speed and one of them is going to be listing the orbital speed that actually is already 175 meters per second because Kerbin is rotating and we're rotating with it and this is actually the speed of rotation of Kerbin. Oh and also just for fun let's list another thing here terminal velocity which is actually something that um, 
basically is kind of important for launches where you need to know how fast you should be going so that you don't lose too much energy to gravity but also so that you don't uh, move too fast as to lose energy to drag basically air pressure so here we're going to list these things and also altitude and just to show you how i'm doing this i went into the flight here i looked up the altitude uh, command and i'm going to just put it right here instead of terminal velocity so that's all we have to do and we're also going to uh, rewrite this a little bit i actually need to add one more thing which is going to be altitude equals and i think i just need to copy this part to make it appear in our formatting um, at the end and here we just need to replace this with altitude and this should already uh, basically create a script for us that will list these values every single second um, time sleep here it basically means that you're going to wait for one second and then you're going to start the loop again and this is the while loop that i previously described in the video before but i, I might actually want to refresh your memory here so there we go it's showing us our altitude our surface speed and terminal velocity Hmm. terminal velocity for some reason is not staying stable let's launch for fun and just see what happens if we launch the spaceship uh, we're going to start going up and here as we go up our altitude is increasing our orbital speed not so much because we're still just going straight up surface speed is increasing and terminal velocity is increasing as well so these are very very important um, telemetry values that you need to know in order for you to actually launch spacecraft successfully but we're not going to be doing it that easily actually we're going to do something else because as I recently found out, apparently that's not a very, very effective way of doing this because you're basically calling these four values every single second and it sort of overloads the server and it can actually even crash your game and crash your server. Uh, and when I say server, I mean this thing right here. So instead, we're going to use a built-in feature called stream. I'm going to show it to you in a second. But before that, let me super quickly review the loops. What I just used here was a while loop. We used up um, a an infinite while loop while true basically creates an infinite loop that does something over and over and over and uh if you just you know print something like hello um this will continuously print hello and if you don't want to crash your computer and you don't want it to print too fast you might want to add time sleep here which also means that we have to import a library called time so here this loop will print hello every second so that's kind of what i did here except that we're basically measuring those values instead of just printing hello that's a very very simple loop and all programming languages have that anyway so moving on let's uh try a very similar script but instead of using uh these values or instead of basically using a while loop that just kind of calls the variables over and over again we're going to use the built-in stream command or add stream command that essentially generates this kind of a, like a channel that continuously retrieves values from your ship without overloading your server. This is kind of what uh, I was told to do by the creators of this mod because I, I was having a lot of trouble uh, getting very, very, very accurate terminal velocity. It was not giving me exact values. And so they told me just use the stream, it's much easier that way. So we're gonna use this for the pretty much most of the um, tutorial and here let's do altitude and also let's do a i think it's just velocity or is it speed i forgot i think it's velocity and if you forget stuff like this you can just go in here and look up the flight value yeah it's velocity uh so this oh this actually returns a vector to us Okay, yeah, there is something called speed as well. So let's just change it to speed. Velocity is a vector, it has three values. This is just going to return speed. And so here, the while loop is just going to have um, essentially this. We're just gonna print out altitude and uh, velocity. These are the variables we just created right here. And then we're just going to wait for like a second so that our computer doesn't go crazy. And here we go. Okay, so this is creating a stream. I made a mistake. The mistake is, uh, I've actually done this previously. Um, this is, it's calling the, it's calling the actual function, um, but it's not calling the function here. So we need to add brackets, uh, which means that if I run this again, it should technically work. 
I believe this, is, yeah, there we go. I believe this works fine. And so this is actually a much faster way. It's very, very accurate. And uh, from what I understand, if I just launch my ship now, it's going to do a much, much better job than just using variables themselves. So this is really, really cool, very important. And so this is how we're going to actually uh, now create a script that will launch our rocket completely automatically into orbit, just like a mag jab, but basically we're gonna make our own script and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. There's one more thing I'm going to actually show you and this is going to be in the next video. We wanna have some sort of a display uh, right here so it doesn't actually, so we don't have to go here every time because that's kind of annoying, right? Um, we're going to be displaying things on the fly on the, in the window here. And so just for now, this is going to be it. I'm going to try to keep these parts a little bit short, um, shorter than usual at least. And we're going to cover pretty much everything you need to know to develop your own script and uh, make your own magjab like apparatus to launch spacecraft uh, pretty much everywhere in, in Kerbal Universe. Anyway, thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow to learn how to add the box right here that will display all the info. And in the next video, we're going to start making that backjab script. As you can see, I'm not doing a very good job with this rocket manually, so I do need an automatic help. But I refuse to use backjab, so there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And I am clearly not getting into orbit with this rocket, so might as well restart and do this the professional way by making my own script. <laughs>